and when it comes to you know a good assistant uh, who are the players big players the market that you see or you know if you're biased what are the players that you are like more inclined to either suggesting or using yeah so um uh, i've been a developer basically for like almost 20 25 years um like even though i'm i'm not doing day to day coding for my job i just code as a hobby anyway so i've um uh, i've tried out a few i've used uh, i i used some of the copilot stuff in its early days i use a lot of duet ai now it's plugged into my ide cuz you know i'm deploying a lot of stuff on gcp um so i think all the big players are going to have something there um so you know uh, the the big three cloud providers definitely will have something then there'll be niche players like definitely open ai and others will have something so i think just like in the with 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 the platform play people had to do different types of assessments in terms of you know here's uh, you know what sort of my my service mesh solution which one should i adopt and and why or what sort of my uh, load balancing solution and what should i adopt and why uh, a lot of this will come down to a classic process of there's so many coding assistants different price points different licensing different uh, means of delivery which one should i adopt and why um and it may be that you know the the ides that you use internally are not compatible the languages you use not compatible the uh something may be really good but it requires you to have a clause that agrees to using your training that may not be acceptable so i think overall you simply cannot sign up based on price uh again going to the original point you have to have a very clear idea of what it is you're doing and why uh, and that can inform to a large degree the choice of coding assistance that you that you take